just going to run you through we're just going to run you through this planting which is one I'm particularly keen on this time of year which is the next planting we've got here of the irises with let's just talk you through what we've got in here this amoxide daisy and yeah that's a vimarana's tail with hollyhocks coming up more oxide daisy we've got some valerian in there just popping through just show you the buds coming on there and then in the base here which do their thing in autumn then the reens which are just in the green at the moment and then will be lost underground almost completely and then we've got a planting of rosemary at the back Agapanthus coming up later on and then these irises just coming into their own ready for a Vimarana to eat the heads off them yes I know you're thinking about it aren't you but I absolutely love this mix planting you get the long view from the far end looking through it every morning from our kitchen window and that's what we'll see I just love the potential in these buds coming up. I love watching them come out and develop. It's almost a disappointment because they last so short a period of time when the irises do come into flare because this is a south facing heat trap of a wall with gravel in the base. So they don't last an awful long time when they do come out. Most of the joy is watching the buds develop and the colours just breaking through as they are on the very end there. But that's a lovely mix planting that gives you extended colour right the way through from now into the autumn with the Nareens when they come back through everything else is sort of cut back by then hollyhocks have been cut down and it is just a picture